Hello there! It is time for Dr. Decker. I've been intending to play this all week and like it has not happened. Mostly because there have been excess raid days that uh, I wasn't planning on. Anyway, I have no memory of where I was exactly in the questioning process, I think. I was good to go. Uh, I do know I've achieved more achievements that I, I haven't actually shown you guys yet because I always just slog straight out So yeah, those are all the achievements that I have uh, unlocked 20 questions in turn century house officer movie length so on and so forth I've unlocked the uh, a thousand keywords 16 hours of gameplay. Wow. I didn't realize I've been playing this just as long, but hey, that's a good sign uh, This was a eight dollar game well, $9 game, and I've gotten 16 hours of gameplay out of that. Sometimes you can't get that out of a out of a $60 game to start. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Move back to the menu and get back to life. At midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death when I'm dancing. You get this date over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David Hunt. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day to ask me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. There's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting now. Would you like to see David, Doctor? <sighs> Sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. I may just still pull out in front of the driver. You rang my doorbell. The truck driver. The little girl. Killed himself. David is weird. But she's watching me. I need to put David. Molly. Out of his misery. Is it okay to steal things? Beeping tablets. Fingerprints. Dead bodies. I saw Jessica. Should I kill David? Hilda died last night. Do you think I should tell her about psychokinetics? The photos. Dr. Deckard seemed to like a drink. Bit of a drinking problem. Probably the same for Jaya. One of his patients was trying to kill him. He lent me some money. Leaving him messages. Creature. Human flesh. I'd teleported. Do you have that dream, Doctor? Okay, well that was a bit of a refresher as to what is wrong here. I apparently only have two people left, so we're gonna go Mariana and Jaya as soon as I close my closet door because that's bothering me. Not because this creeps me out, it's just because it bothers me. I don't I don't like closet doors open. I have not liked them open since I was a child. It bothers me. It's like the the shower curtain. I don't like the shower curtain closed. I, I it's not like there's anything in there. But it bothers me. Perhaps I have some sort of uh, OCD, but let us get to Mariana. I don't think I have any questions asked right now for her. Yeah, so yeah, I'll be going in fresh with Mariana. Psychotic ass. I'm fine, doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. I'm not worried about you. So you went to the beach. Nope. You didn't have a didn't have a blackout. Like I said, I've been fine. I don't like how she's looking at me. I'm fine, doctor. 
I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. <coughs> mm. Oh, that's pleasant. Apparently my nose decided to start bleeding. That was really weird. Well, anyway. Uh... I'm actually not sure where to go with her because it's been a while since I played, so we're just gonna go hit the ground with a, a hint. Oh, it's a question I should ask you. People still follow you. Are they People following follow you? me into the sea. I don't force them, they just follow to see the creature. Seeing things. You take them to the creature. I'm not sure what you'd call it. A wisp? A star? It's so bright and warm and loving. I don't know why it leaves me. It only wants the others. Feeds on them. What do you mean it feeds on them? When I look down, I black out. But if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. I can just swim back to the top. When it's finished. So you think the creature, think seeing the creature makes you black out. Interesting. Well, that's flipping interesting. When I look down, I black out. But if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. I can just swim back to the top when it's finished. So you are also in a trance? You'll have to ask me some- Huh. She's not even trying to pretend that she's not saying, like, you know. Have you had any- Nay more? Any more dreams? I don't dream, Doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. You're also a lying bitch, apparently. What do you mean you haven't dreamed in years? That's not something I know about. You do know about it. The fuck are you talking about? You don't. I you don't haven't dreamed dream in years. Doctor. What do you mean you don't dream? Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow knowing it's the truth? I don't know. Is it easier to convince yourself you're not murdering people that. No, it's not easier. I... All right, let's re let's listen yeah. to that again. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow knowing it's the truth? No, it's not easier to swallow. The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. No, you're a fucking deep one. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours. Because you're a deep one. And people follow me. Even if it's the last thing they do. Why do you keep taking people? I don't have anything. I want to know why she keeps taking it. 
<sighs> Mariana, did you did you write the write write the death threats? I prefer actions over words, Doctor. You know that. Do I know that? When I look down, I black out. But if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. What do you see when you look forward? You really want to know? If I look down, it's writhing, just limbs of people from the clubs and the bars. Not just from this week, but last week, last month, last year. They all look terrified, but somehow still alive. The creature, it's all inside them, poking holes through them that they shouldn't have. It just eats them. Slowly. It eats them. The missing people. That's where they go. So you are a murderer. I don't know I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. I hear it. It's hungry. Nobody can know. It's our secret. You have to stop taking people to the beach. <laughs> you do understand. <laughs> this is murder, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. You do understand. This is murder, right? I don't have an answer. All right, stop taking people to the damn beach, Jesus. I've got nothing to say about that. God, you're a fucking murderer. I'm really gonna worry about the loan after what she just told me. She just told me she's murdered people. Preacher be damned. She took them there. And she knows she took them there. She's a murderer. This is not cool. <laughs> so what happened to happened to the loan? Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course, either way, or I'd be cured, but he asked for his money back and I didn't have it. So Claire bought out the loan. There's... I know Claire bought the loan back. Claire bought the loan. She's the woman that took over the loan I had with Dr. Decker. Yeah, but why did she take over the loan? Dr. Decker... What did you do about the loan? Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course, either way, or I'd be cured, but he asked for his money back and I didn't have it. So what did he do when you didn't 
have the money. I don't know. Oh, come on. I know who the fuck has the pad. Why would I ask her about that? So, do you know? Do you know about the stolen Decker's prescription prescription? Why would someone steal Dr. Decker's prescription pad? I didn't even know he had one. Now that's a lie. There's something there, but it don't, I don't I don't think I took notes on it. Wait, didn't didn't he give you sleeping pills? I don't have an answer. Okay, maybe it wasn't her. Oh boy, that's the problem with coming back to this game after so long. I don't actually know where to go with some of these questions. The missing people. That's where they go. I, I don't know I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. The creature. I hear it. You hear the creature. Fuck. Right. People are getting hurt. I can't keep that a secret. It's our secret. What will you tell people that I'm... Feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? What proof do you have? You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. When you visit. I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed of what I've done. Wait, what? You make me feel like I deserve it. What? Wait, what? I do something to you? You'll have to ask me something else. What do I do to you? You get inside me, Doctor. Oh my. And it hurts. And you don't care. I don't believe you. Remember that? Can you remember what you did? Can I just say no? No, I can't. Remember what I did. No, I don't remember. Why would I remember? I didn't do it. Did you kill Decker because you couldn't pay, couldn't, couldn't pay the loan back? Pay back the loan. Why would I do that? Dr. Decker transferred our loan agreement to Clara Castleford. She bought him out. I owe her the money now. Well, I knew that already. You owe... Claire. You have to pay the money to Claire. Wait, why would he do that? Why would I do that? Dr. Decker transferred our loan agreement to Claire at Castle. Decker transferred. Own. Own to Claire. I don't know why she did it, but... Dr. Decker got repaid, and now my agreement is with Claire. You should ask her. Well, I don't think I can ask her anything about that. You get inside me, Doctor. And it. Are you saying 
I rape you? That's just wrong. I don't know. I don't believe you. What do you mean? What is she? This is a feeling I don't miss. Do you mean? Mean by missing people. It's not like she's been telling me this whole time that, oh, I go to the bar and then I'll kiss a guy and then he'll follow me. And he follows me wherever I go. Cause, uh, yeah, he'll follow me to his house. And then I'll tell you this weird stuff about a dream where there's this creature in the ocean and I take the people there. It's a murderer, okay? She's a fucking murderer. I can't explain what happened with John. Who the fuck's John? He followed me back from the bar that night and swam with me under the ocean. I blacked out. He'd gone. You know what's happening to these people. Who the fuck is John? You must have read about John in the news. He was a local student who went missing. He was a looker. And he had a way with words, but he was also a cheat. The creature liked eating him a lot. But I can't explain what happened next. Well, try to explain what happened next. I left him to be eaten, and the next morning, he turns up in my bed, at my house. He's not wet at all. No signs he's been in the sea, but he has holes in him. Lots of holes. His inside is on the outside. Just ball of tangled worms and now they're blaming me but you knew that doctor didn't you that's why I'm here no I did not know that <laughs> they think I killed John John and some others. They need to know whether I'm insane or not. Oh, I think you killed John too. <laughs> no. The creature killed John. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, Mariana, sure you did. This you're sure it's a creature. They think I killed John. John and some others. They need to know whether I'm insane or not. And I think you are quite, <laughs> quite insane. My lawyer, he says I'm insane, but that he needs you to rubber stamp it. Do you think I'm insane, Doctor? Yes. Very insane. Yes. I think you are very insane. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. That's all I ever needed to hear you say. I also think you're a murderer, so that still doesn't get you off the hook, girl. Okay, this is actually the easiest time I've had questioning Mariana, but I'm still going to have to get into the hints just because I don't remember a whole lot of what's happened, so it's really hard for me to come up with questions I'm right now. I'm fine, Doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell I'm the tale. I see. No blackouts. Nothing. You swam. I don't have. Mm. That's not quite what I'm looking for, is it? 
You take the prescription. I know who the fuck took the prescription pad. She already told me she did. Wow. That's a low blow, doctor. You just accuse me of raping you. Sessions, I'm not a thief. Even alone, that was just unfortunate. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back <coughs> after diagnosing me as sane. Decker told you that you were sane? Dr. Decker was a hack. You're special. You're good at your job. You know I have problems. You know, I'm starting to think Decker was right. You are sane, you're just a fucking murderer. Whatever it takes to get you out of my office, though, I'm down with. Thing up there. You think I am special? I don't know about that. I'm special? I'm different! I've got nothing to say about- Of course you don't. What do you... mean... get? I get inside. You watch me undress. Oh, come on. You say nothing, but still, you order it just like Dr. Decker did. I strip, ashamed. As I lie down, you bend over me. Your face. So horrible. Like worms. Crawling. With jaws like pythons. Yeah, that's not me. And you bury it into me. I lay there, frozen, while you violate me. Yeah, that's not me. Punishing me. I didn't do that to you. I'm not sick. You're sick. No, you're sick, because I didn't do that. Dr. Decker was a hack. You're special. You're good at your job. You know I have problems. You know, buttering me up is not gonna help your case. You... What have you been feeling hot or thirsty? Oh yes, you did say something about that. No, I've not been thirsty. Not since I went back to the sea. Deep one. Deep one. In a discussion, she's a deep one. Five seconds. Yeah, she's a deep one. She's definitely a deep one. Why do you feel like you deserve it? Other than the fact you're a filthy murderer. It's my fault they're all dying. It is. They're following me. So stop taking them. Dr. Decker was a hack. You think Decker was hack? There are similarities, but you're not the dead doctor. Are you feeling okay? I didn't say anything about Decker being me. How the hell would I even come to that? Are you fine? I've done lots of dancing. Lots of clubbing. Lots of socializing. See what's left. I think there's only one thing left. Hopefully, if I'm lucky. Yeah, that's just one question left, and then I'll be done with her. Then I can move on to Jaya again. Oh, Jaya. Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. You make me worried. I left him to be eaten. And the next morning, he turns up in my bed. At my house. He was in your bed. Nope. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do the hint. 
It's a good question. Are the holes stab wound? That's an interesting analogy, Doctor. You think I'm making this up? Yes, I think you are trying to make yourself feel better about being a murderer. That's not something- Yes, I think you are making this up. I can't- Nah, okay, I don't know what else to ask. Has any- have- has anyone else turned up in your home? That's not something- I can't spell! Has anyone else <laughs> turned up in your home? You're a naughty one, Doctor. You know you visited my home. Why do you keep denying it? Because I'm not doing it. I'm denying it because I didn't do it. You'll have to ask me some. Did not visit your home. Don't you remember? That's a shame. She's fucking with me. You had fun. Had fun. If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. Now I know you're lying. Now I know you're lying, because you just told me I violate you. But you said my face is hideous and it's like worms, so obviously that's your hallucination. Then you tell me, oh, you had fun, and you're trying to flirt with me again. You're lying, Mariana. You're lying, you're lying, you're lying. And part of me wants to say that you are not insane, so you go to jail for the rest of your life for murdering these people. Jaya, save me. <laughs> That's not really relevant, is it? It is relevant. I can't deal with these people. Hello, Jaya. How are you? I'm worried about you, Doctor. I'm worried you about me too. Quiet and well, it's just your fingerprints on the bottle. Maybe you touched it by accident. You didn't know him, did you? Oh. No, I didn't. Didn't know Decker. Then why are your fingerprints on his vodka bottle? No, no, don't answer that. Oh. The infectious madness of Dr. Decker, who hasn't it touched? I'm so worried. My fingerprints are on the bottle. I think you know what I'm going to say. I don't know. Wait, no, you just said, wait, what, what about my fingerprints? Fingerprints? Are you stuck? Yes, I'm stuck. What do you mean my fingerprints on it? Did you find Decker's prescription prescription pad? Dr. Decker's prescription pad is still missing. I'll let you know if it turns up. Who was it that said she had it? Uh Elon said he took the pad. Your patience will always be a bother, but you're caring for people. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? In a few weeks' time, there'll be a whole new bunch of faces with a whole new bunch of quirks. And a whole new doctor, because I'm not going to live. A whole new doctor, shall we? But I, I was trying to tell you that Elin said she took the pad. <laughs> Elin said she stole... The prescription gym pad. Why can I not tell her that? Do you did you know about the death threats? I didn't know anything about that. If I have any grievances with my employer, I spit in their coffee. I hope that's how you like it. 
What did I do? What what did I do? I'm just I'm just trying to work here. Did you spit in my coffee? For a grief counselor, you're asking some pretty random. You just said you spit my coffee! Why do you need. You need grief. Counseling. Selling today. I think I'm okay with the grief now. My mother died suddenly, and I think I was projecting Dr. Decker's death to be about her. I know they're not related. Your mother died. I'm sorry to hear that. My mother died suddenly, like Dr. Decker. For her, though, it was different. She burst into flames. I was seven. They said she must have been smoking and drinking on the sofa, but she doesn't smoke or drink. Professor Alderby said it was spontaneous combustion. Well, I'd say the same thing. She spontaneously combusted. I don't know. She burst into flames. Should you be asking me that? I don't. Oh, wait, Alderby? It was spontaneous combustion. According to Professor Alderby, people can will themselves to die. Some people will have heart attacks, some people will have strokes. Those who are truly despondent, they're the rare few that spontaneously combust. I'm not sure if I believe in all of that. Well, I do believe that people can will themselves to die. Because if you lose the will to die, then you just basically stop functioning. And cause problems to yourself, like not eating, etc, etc, etc. Oh, Jaya. Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. What have we gotten ourselves into? I'm worried into? about you, Doctor. You seem quiet and, well, it's just your fingerprints on the bottle. Maybe you touched it by accident? You didn't know him, did you? How could I touch the bottle? by accident no i'm not really sure what question i'm trying to ask you why are you worried about me you just seem a little different from the person who turned up well you left me in a, with a bunch of psychotic murders as much as you did you flitter between patients in a daydream tell me what things are bothering you why would i tell you what's bothering me You know, that's a valid reason to think that, I guess. You think that I'm going insane, don't you? Who measures sanity or insanity? One man's philosopher is another man's fool. I'm keeping an eye on you. I won't let you go crazy. I appreciate you having my back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just don't. Just don't murder me. That's all I'm asking. Did you have any grievances? And sis. Decker. Don't become like Dr. Decker. I'm trying not to. I think that somebody killed him because he was using them. And he was using all of them. There's some footage. I can't show you because it would affect you too much. Suffice to say... When Mariana told him she could breathe underwater, he wanted the same power for himself. So, instead of trying to cure her of it, he'd try and amplify it to see how it worked, so he could imagine it for himself. 
I think he did that with all his special patients. I think he wanted all of their powers. I agree. If you believe in that sort of thing. You think he wanted their powers? I once spoke to a patient here who claimed to be able to teach me how to get inside other people's dreams. Scarlet? But how would you know if that worked? Have you had any strange dreams lately, Doctor? Why, Jaya? Why, what, why, why? I thought, like, every. Why won't you, why won't you just let me trust you? Why, why do you have to keep bringing up things like this? Why, why, Jaya? Why, why did you abuse me in that dream? What did you do to me in that dream? I thought we were friends, Jaya. I thought, I thought, I thought I could understand you. I thought we could be, I thought we could be cool, Jaya. I thought we could be cool. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm so wrong. Don't become like Dr. Decker. I think that somebody killed him because. All right. You think he was using someone? Really? Yeah, that's the question I'm trying to ask. But uh, do I really need to know that? Were Decker's special patients? Any patient who presented with psychokinetic issues, they were his special patients. Towards the end, he began ignoring all the other cases. I would Most kill for a normal saw case. It as a curse what they were experiencing, what they were unwittingly doing. Dr. Decker saw it as an ability, a power to be harnessed and used for, well, God knows what he was going to use it all for. So we made them give in to it and it consumed them, consumed all of them. Whether you believe any of that or not is your choice, but they did, which made them angry. And that's why I think he was murdered by a patient. I can accuse somebody, but I don't know who could have done it. All of them have very good reasons to kill him. All of them. And I mean all of them have very, very good reasons to kill him. Uh, including you, actually, Jaya. I'm just gonna be real about that. You have reasons too, I'm assuming. This whole... Psycho... Psycho... Genesis... This thing bothers me. Yes, that, that is a worry. I agree. Okay. All right. So you just seem a little different from the person who turned up all those weeks ago. You don't talk to me as much as you did. You flitter between patients in a daydream. Tell me what things are bothering you. I'm dealing with murderers. That's what bothers me. <laughs> that's not really relevant. <laughs> well, that's totally it? relevant. That is totally relevant, Jaya. The murder bothers me as well. It's not your job to find out who the murderer is. It's the police. No, you I just only point them in the don't right want direction. them to kill me. Murder is a means to an end. There's a lot more going on here you should be thinking about. No, I'm worried they're gonna kill me, Jaya. That's that's what I'm worried about. Particularly, I'm worried about Mariana killing me. Because apparently she's managed to bewitch the shit out of me and I don't know how she did it. Next up, huh? My memory. 
rather. Oh, there's me too. Your memory is exactly that. Your memory. If people are telling you things you don't remember, then they're probably making them up. I mean, you Keep made down. it up. Only you know. Well, I know I didn't go to Mariana's house. I know that I didn't ask her address. I know a lot of things. But all of you keep insisting that I know these things. That I did that I did these things that I don't I don't remember doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Honestly, Cthulhu bothers me. A fictional space god that's resting at the bottom of the Atlantic. It's not likely, is it? Or maybe you think it is. Have you spoke to Mariana today? Oh, I did. Yeah, I spoke to her. I'm, I'm more than convinced that she's going to kill me at some point. All of you, all of you have me pretty damn convinced that you're going to kill me. And... Now, don't take this the wrong way. But what if you bother me? Why do I bother you? Do you think I killed Dr. Decker? You need to look deeper into your other patients. I can forgive a lot of things, but being falsely accused of murder, well, that's going to blemish your CV. <laughs> Any of you. So, how exactly are you going to going to stop? me going crazy holiday perhaps some r and r i suppose you were thinking something darker no no i actually holiday sounds great actually holiday sounds amazing according to professor alderby people can will themselves to die some people will have heart attacks, some people will have strokes. Those who are truly despondent, they're the rare few that spontaneously combust. I'm not sure if I believe in all of that. You believe people can will themselves to die? I thought you'd have got the hang- Damn it, no, I'm never gonna get the hang of this. You think your mother Builds self to die. Die. I don't know. It doesn't fill me with any sense of self worth, if that helps. We're almost done with her. I had eight seconds on that. Ooh, I'm quite hungry. I haven't eaten all day and I've been playing video games all day. That's not a good combination, is it? Oh, I got distracted. My bad. Well, what do you believe then? Because of what happened to my mother, I believe people could change the world with their minds. I think it's dangerous to have that ability, and I think that you and me were helping people rid themselves of these dangerous thoughts and a whole load of other issues at the same time. People pretend to believe, and they have a different agenda. They're the ones you need to watch out for. 
They have boundaries and they are prepared to break them. I don't really know who to accuse. Wait, all right, that's a good question. How, how do you know Mariana? That she can breathe under water. I spot check the sessions. I know, I know I shouldn't, I really but care. it's for the safety of everyone. Checks and balances, remember? Okay, so the accused thing. I don't think it's Jaya, because I don't think Jaya had to. So, for me, it's down to two people. It's either Eliana, uh, I mean, Ellen or Mariana. Those two have the most reason to. Claire really didn't gain anything by this. I, I think Claire has murdered people, but I don't think Claire gains anything by killing Decker. Bryce didn't really seem like he was interested in killing Decker. Nathan doesn't seem like he's capable of killing Decker, so it's Elin or Mariana. I'm not really sure who did it. See, my problem with this is that Mariana is the obvious choice. Probably is the choice. Because Mariana has had the most to lose. Although, really, there was nothing to lose. But she's, she's claiming that we're showing up at her house and doing all this shit. And I don't believe her about any of that because she keeps saying I'm showing up at her house. Could be Bryce, but I don't think so. I think it's Mariana or Elon. Elon seems really upset about Decker. She took the pad. He's, I don't know, it's just Elon seems, like, Elon's whole thing is she doesn't want to lose her ability. And Decker was screwing with her and telling her that she, she was going to lose it. I don't think Claire killed him. Maybe she did. I don't think Claire killed him. No, I think Caleb brought him back. If he came back. But I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to have to guess between these two. Any, many, many. Do we want to go with the obvious choice? You know what? We're going with Elon. No. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm not a murderer. I'm a good person. I help people. Why would I want to kill Dr. Decker? Without him, I'd never have started shifting. Anyway, I had the prescription pad just in case, so there was no reason for me to kill him. I'm really shocked you thought it was me. Am I at the end of the game? You're really shocked you thought it, I thought it was you? Why would you be shocked? Okay, so we can accuse somebody else then. So it's not Elin. I know it's, I, I want to say I know it's not Jaya, but I don't know. Can it be Claire? Could it be Claire? Marianne is the obvious choice here. Claire's shady as hell too, so let's just see what happens if I click her. So after all we've been through, you're accusing me? Yes. Of what? Murder? Or of not bringing him back to life when I said I would? The Murder. last one I'm definitely guilty of. He wanted me to kill him, but I wouldn't. I turned up here on Valentine's night and he was drunk already, as usual. I think he thought the alcohol and pills would take the edge off. <gasps> I but killed Decker! Have you ever seen a man trying to push a paper spike through himself when he's drunk? 
I'm not saying any more while your camera's rolling, but know this. Dr. Decker was more disturbed than any of his patients, and I stopped him. I put my wrongs right. Can you say that, Doctor? She seems pretty. It was me? Ah! Ah! It was Claire! It was Claire! <laughs> Yeah, that, that is the definition of insanity. So I've got a new dog, a basset hound. She's got these big floppy ears and a really sad face. You know, even sadder than I look. Ginger, I call her Ginger. She's a rescue. But since I've had Ginger, I've never looked back. Literally, not one day. It makes me happy. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. Um... Mutually assured delusions? I think Dr. Decker was projecting his weird fantasies on me, and it was just going to be easier to go along with it, to participate. I feel much better now I know I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't hurt anyone. Did I? It looks like Terry won't be coming back. Why? She hasn't been in for a while and Why? I thought she just had a bug or something, but from what I've heard, it's not good. Apparently, she's in intensive care and they can't figure out what's wrong with her. Well, I'm not going to lie. Works much easier without her watching over me. Does that make me a horrible person? A little bit. No! What I want to know is how did you know which patient was the murderer? I mean, they all lied to you, didn't they? I'm just glad it's business as usual around here and I'm not having to look for another doctor again. It's embarrassing. Dr. Decker almost caught me writing the advert for his replacement. Were you, were you going to replace me? Let's recap, shall we? Yes, let's. A siren, a shapeshifter, a time traveler, undead husband, teleportation, and otherworldly gods trying to take over Earth. It's an unlikely tale at the best of times, but you're also purporting to be all of these people. Huh? I think you're beyond help. You understand what you're saying and expect me to believe it? What? And you say I am one of your patients? Patients? true doctor if that were the case then somehow i've managed to turn the tables on you which is plausible i suppose i have no idea what's happening i don't even know who that man is i have no idea what just happened at the end okay so that was actually the end of the game I was not expecting that. Oh, Bianca, I appreciate the follow on Twitter. I don't know if she's going to keep following me, but man, you made this game worth playing. Thank you for your impeccable performance as Jaya. You made it amazing. Thank you for existing. And this was fun. I'm still very confused as to what the fuck just happened. But Claire is a mass murderer. I'm... 100% sure of that. <laughs> I really should have picked her first. Elon was just too, too good. Like, too, too, yeah. It would be nice to just be able to go back to that part and get that killing correct. So I got 100% of everything. I did pretty good all around. It's not bad. So that's what happens if you do all 100% of that. That's pretty cool. 100 to 201 i I'm not too bad about that. What? I did, did I use it? Oh, I don't know.
There is no way I'm getting Hintless Wonder. I don't really know if there's a reason to keep playing this. Does that do anything? No, I've, I've finished the game. Wow, I actually finished this game. I was not expecting it to end like that. That was like... Semi anticlimactic. It's not like it's bad. I really enjoyed the game. My my end analysis on this is for nine bucks. This game is well worth the money, especially if you like who done it stuff. There's a lot to be figured out. It does legitly make you start wondering if maybe your patients are all not actually crazy and you're crazy, or I mean, like if your patients are not crazy but they're sane and all this shit's really happening to them. I really should have known it was Claire from the start, because Claire lied constantly about the things she did. Worse than anybody else. She's like, Nathan, Nathan was pretty damn straight up with me. I don't think, I never for once thought it was Nathan. I only thought it was Elon because Elon got pretty damn heated about Dr. Decker not showing up for his mother as his mother was dying. Mariana is is your red herring. She's she's definitely there to make you think that she's the one that did all this shit. That was really good though. Uh, I give this a high recommendation in terms of uh, playing. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you've watched me play it, still it's worth playing. Cause there, it's just something about doing it yourself that's just a, is a, is a good experience. Uh, definitely gonna be singing the praises of this game. Like I said, it's it's nine bucks, and that's that's a very fair price tag for this game. And uh, yeah, if, if with a price tag like that and quality like this, because like there's still there are problems with the with the system, like the hint system, not the hint system, but the the keyword system. But those are things I think they can make better. So I would really like to see them take another whack at a game like this, because I want to see I want to see growth. I would love to see this game evolve because it, it's got like when it's when the hand system's working, it's amazing. It makes you it really brings you into the game. It really found like it really puts that foundation of uh, immersion into it. And that's what you're looking for in a game like this. Actually, it feels a little bit like playing a tabletop game. Like if you were playing Call of Cthulhu tabletop. When well, I said the ending, eh, you know, the ending is the ending. I'm not mad at the ending. I'm more huh at the ending than anything. I'm guessing I got pretty high. I, I there's no way to track like what what my levels of insanity and stuff were that I know of. So yeah, I will uh I'll probably revisit this at some point. I I might play it again over Halloween or something. I don't know. I'm gonna be looking for things. So yeah, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to play now. Let's see, how many minutes into this am I? Oh, I'm an hour into this. So yeah, I'm going to gonna edit this video, take a little bit of a break, and I'll be back with something. I don't know what. I'm kind of lost. I wasn't expecting this to be over so soon. I got about 17 hours of gameplay out of this for 9 bucks. That's not bad at all. So yeah, shout out to the people that made uh, Dr. Deckers. Thank you for the favorites and stuff on... I mean, the... the yeah, the favorites and, and retweets on Twitter. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the game. So yeah, and uh, remember to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And uh, look for me on uh, Twitch TV slash Nico the Odd, all one word, N E K K O the Odd. Uh, if you're on my Twitch stream, look at my page, and there's a link to my YouTube. Go follow and follow here because I need the follows. And if you like what you're seeing, cool. Uh, let me know. Uh, I don't know what to play now. Yeah, so. Remember to save often, you'll live longer. Peace.